welcome to another fun-filled note-taking session on, this is on 6D, part 2, which is multiplying and dividing rational algebraic expressions. Um, first, we're going to look at multiplying rational expressions. So example 1, we're multiplying two rational expressions together. And the first step, as always, in this is to factor. So step 1, factor. Factor each numerator, so x minus 4, can I factor it? No, I cannot factor any further. Factor x squared minus 4x minus 21. Well, the way I've taught you to factor is using the calculator. Put it in. Put it in the calculator, graph it. Look at the table, we have add 7, second zero, so that's one of our zeros, and negative 3. So that's. Seven, you have x minus seven. Negative three is x plus three. So our numerators are separately factored. Then go to the denominators. X minus seven, that's already factored. Can't get factored any further. And x plus three can't be factored any further. So after everything is factored with multiplication, now we just look at what numerator and denominator are similar that we can uh, get rid of. We have x minus 7 divided by x minus 7, that is 1. We have x plus 3 divided by x plus 3, that is also 1. You can put 1s all over a place if you like when you do this. But then you have x minus 4 times 1 times 1, that's just x minus 4. And in the denominator you have 1 times 1, which is just 1, which divided by 1, you don't need to write it. You just have x minus 4. Second example, we have two again, two rational expressions. And again, you factor. Factor each numerator and denominator separately. So to factor the first one, put it in the calculator. It's so now in the calculator, magically appeared. Graph it. Look in the table, see where they have. I know it crossed twice. Nothing there. Once at four, I don't see anything else. So then I have to go back to the graph so I can trace zero. I am looking at the one that's right of the zero that's right, just to the right of one. So I'm hitting the right key from the first x intercept. It is currently at, it is currently left, the, the tracer is currently left of the x intercept. Hit enter, go to the other side of the x intercept, which is in this case right. Enter, yes, enter. You have 1.5. Hit second quit. If I do 1.5, I'm changing this to a fraction if you don't, don't know. Hit the math key, enter, enter, and you get three halves. So we have 4 and 3 halves. So for 4, you have x minus 4. And for 3 halves, the factor is 3 equals 3 halves multiplied by 2. Subtract 3, and you get 2x minus 3 as a factor. Now we have to do this again for the second numerator. Your calculator. Bam, there it is. See the calculator. Graph it. You want to check the table out? There's one at four, the other one is mysteriously not there. So you have to do second trace. Zero. Left bound. It's already left bound from the first x intercept. Go to the right of the first x intercept. Yes. We have 0.5, which we all know is one half. So we have other factor is it was at four, so x minus four, and it was at one half. One half is the same thing as factor-wise as two x minus one. Get this again for the next. Um, there, well, it just happens to be x minus 4, which cannot be factored. Perfect. And last one, 
8x squared minus 18x plus 9. Put that in the calculator. Bam, there it is, in the calculator. Magically appeared. Graphing it. See two x intercepts. Let's trace the same left bound from the first. Let's keep it a little bit away. Right bound of the first x intercept. Yes, hit enter. We got 0.75. Right, so 0.75 is the same thing as 3, 4. So that's one of our x-intercepts. The other x-intercept is going to do the same thing. The second trace, 0. Left of the second x-intercept is below the x-axis. In this case, I have the right key to go above, so that's right bound. Yes, we get 1.5. So you have x equals 3 fourths, so and x equals 1.5 is the same thing as 3 halves. Um, so our two factors is 4x minus 3 and 2x minus 3. Now after I factored everything, I look at numerator and denominator. No matter where the numerators are, where the denominators are, I look at similar numerators and denominators and cancel them out. x minus 4 divided by x minus 4. 2x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 3. Remember, this is really, there. it's 1. I'm not really canceling. I say cancel, but they're equal to 1. But since there's stuff left on the numerator and denominators, we or just the numerators, we don't actually, actually don't have to worry about the 1. Um, and I don't see anything else left over that you can cancel at numerator and denominator. So the final answer is x minus 4 times 2x minus 1 over or x minus 3. On the SOLs, you might be asked to multiply out the numerator. And in this case, you do x times 2x, x times negative 1, negative 4 times 2x, and negative 4 times negative 1. Um, but for our purposes here, that's good enough for an answer. Moving on. The back simplifying, um, we're just dividing. And division is very, very similar to multiplication. So we start out with, all right, so the difference between division and multiplication is pretty simple. Where you have the division, you make a multiplication. So 35 b squared plus 34b plus 8 over 10b squared minus 6b minus 4. Instead of division, we make a multiplication. And we actually flip the second rational expression. Some of you guys remember this as keep a change flip. Keep it. So you keep the first fraction, change the division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. And now it's multiplication. It's the exact same thing as we just did before for multiplication. So I am going to factor, first numerator, and I already have the simple calculator. Graph it. I zoomed it in on the point. Get the zero. Left bound of the first one, right bound of the first x-intercept. And you're just going to have to believe me on this. This is negative four sevenths is the first decimal. Um, how you get that, I would just start putting in this. Anytime you see a 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, that's a sign that it's a 7. Some 7 is your denominator. So I just put in 4 7 and it comes up as the same. Uh, the other x-intercept, left bound down below, Right bound above, negative point four, which is also negative two fifths. So I have to change both of these into factored form. So that's seven x plus four and five x plus two. First numerator, multiplication. Second numerator, a b minus 8, 
I see there's a greatest common factor, I'll factor that out. That's 8. What's left is V minus 1. I divide it in 8 out of undistributed in 8. Nothing left to, to, to factor in that numerator. And then look at the next. This denominator, 10V squared minus 6V minus 4. Okay, I haven't zoomed in. So I can trace 0. Left bound, right bound, yes. Negative point four, we've dealt with this. This is negative two fifths, which is five x plus two. Next trace zero. Left bound. And one. So that's x minus one. And the next denominator, 70v plus 40, I can factor out a 10. And I'm left with v plus 4. 7v plus 4. Now I factored everything. Now I look at what I can top and bottom that I can get rid of. Went from x to v's to x's. Oh, I guess those should be. Treat all those x's as v's. So we have 7v plus 4 divided by 7v plus 4. We have v minus 1, v minus 1, 5x plus 2, divided by 5x plus 2. I have how much left on the numerator? I have 8 tenths. 8 on the numerator, 10 on the denominator. So if I have 8 tenths left, that can be reduced. So do I top and bottom by 2? So that's 4 fifths. So in the end, you have 4 fifths. That's your answer. Come to class with any questions on multiplying and dividing rationals. Thank you for watching.